Hey guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about aperture. Now I know it's one of those variables that people tend to get their head around first. People want that nice soft background for portraits or they want a lot of depth of field for their landscapes, but it's not as simple as that. So let's talk about it a little. So look, I've been on the road a lot lately, shooting landscapes and portraits, giving lessons and running tours. And something that's popped up is that a lot of people shoot their portraits wide open, as fast as their lens will go, f2.8 or 1.4, and then shoot their landscape stopped right, right down, like f11, 16, 22 or above, to make sure everything's in sharp focus. Now, of course, you have to consider the light balance in the scene and how much movement you want, but it's not as simple as just throwing it wide open for portraits or have it stopping it right down for your landscapes. Take a look at this headshot. So this was taken at f1.8. The lens goes down to 1.4, but even the 1.8 only has the tiniest little amount of sharp focus. By being so close, it limits our depth of field. And if I wanted both eyes sharp, then I either need to have the face perfectly level to the camera, or I'd really need to step up to f2.8, f4, or above. I regularly shoot tight headshot portraits at f5.6 or even f8 to make sure that I'm gonna get all of the head that I want in sharp focus sharp, but it'll still keep the background nice and soft. And the reverse is kind of true for landscapes. Now, I understand for a lot of landscapes, people want everything in sharp focus. And if you've got things from, you know, the horizon through to a meter in the foreground, you're going to need a huge depth of field for that. But a lot of the time you don't. Say you're taking a shot of things that are all a long distance away, like a mountain range. There's no reason that that needs to be at F22. Take a look at this shot. I shot this at F1.4 and, everything is in sharp focus. If you're a long way away from your subject, you already have a huge depth of field. For example, if you were shooting something like Machu Picchu at 24 mil, at f1.4, if your subject is 100 feet away, for example, that's your focus point, you're gonna have everything sharp from 70 feet away all the way through to infinity. That's assuming you're using a full frame camera. Now, not every lens is going to give you great performance wide open. Absolutely, that's the case. The only the best lenses are gonna look great at f1.4 to 2.8, but you don't need to stop all the way down to like f22. So consider maybe you don't need to be carrying that tripod around. For example, if you were going to shoot a landscape at let's say f22, and that meant given the amount of light in the scene, you need an exposure time of a quarter of a second. That means carrying a tripod all day, setting it up and taking your exposure to make sure it's shake free. But if f4 was going to give you enough depth of field and you know your lens performs well at f4, no vignetting and the sharpness is getting there, then that's a huge difference. f4 to 5.6, 8, 11, 16, 22, that's five stops of difference between f4 and f22. That means you can go from a quarter second all the way up to a hundredth of a second and you can safely handhold that assuming that the landscape isn't moving like a fast moving waterfall or whatever. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to shoot all your portraits wide open if you're trying to make sure you get certain parts of their face in sharp focus and you don't necessarily have to stop down all of your portraits to a crazy high F number to get everything sharp. Consider what the closest thing you need in sharp focus is, what the furthest thing you need in sharp focus is and then work out given your focal length, what kind of camera you're using, what lens, all of those things, what F number is going to give you the depth of field you need. Now you're going to need to test it on your own lenses to know where the great performance is coming Coming in. A lot of lenses perform best between say f5.6 and f8, but a lot of the really great lenses are already performing beautifully by f4, some of them even down at f2. So take the time to learn your gear and you may find that you don't need to break your back carrying a tripod all the time and you can make sure you get those headshots in sharp focus rather than realizing when you get home one of the eyes was out. Leave me any questions or comments, I'll see you soon.